Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So I was just sitting around and I was like, hey, I should make a reading. I've got time. And then, so when I tapped in, um, Dreamweaver started playing the song. And every time I hear that song, I think of Wayne's World and the scene where he sees Cassandra for the first time. And then I started making pizza and forgot all about it. And so when I came in to like see which decks we're gonna use, interesting, I forgot all about that song, but they picked the Wisdom, whoop, Wisdom Oracle and the Angel Dreams. And then when I saw the Angel Dreams, I was like, oh yeah, Dreamweaver. So something to do with that song. I don't know if Wayne's World's a reference, but that's just what I always think of when I hear that song. Uh, I don't know. How many is there? Three? I'm hearing yes and no. What the hell does that mean? Let's just go with it. This one. And then, get into the dreams. Well, I'm shuffling. I hope you had a good day. I always feel weird, like, the longer I take to shuffle. Which is a little bit why I was like, do I want all three of these? Because I don't feel like that was a good shuffle, but it really wanted to come through. So yes and no. How many do we got? We got three and four. No, we got four and four. Okay. So, what, what do we got? We've got time to go in reverse. So it's not time to go. You're exactly where you need to be because you're poised in the perfect spot. We've got yin in reverse. Oh yeah, that makes sense because um, yin is the feminine slow down energy. And so yang is the masculine go, go, go energy, which interesting enough, I was talking to my friend because she's wicked smart. Um, the topic came about that recently I've never quite liked red meat. I was like, I don't know why, but I feel like my body craves like red meat. Like I just want steak and never in my life have I wanted steak. And she's like, that makes sense because, uh, and then when I said, well, every time I eat um, red meat, I find like I lose lots of weight or something. And then she's like, that makes sense because it really amps up your yang energy something to do with flow. Like she could go into it way more, but that kind of popped into my mind. Um, so yeah, it's time for yang energy. It's not time for sitting and the next one to come was chop wood. So what am I getting from these four cards? It's not time to go, but it is time to do movement or action. So I don't know if you've been wondering if something that you were working towards um, that you should let it go. Like, is this even worth my time? Um, and it is worth your time because here we, we would really don't want to put people on a pedestal, but she's, she's at this great place. She's kind of elevated and whatever it is that you've been working on, keep at it, right? Chop wood. That's the action movement. That's, that's you going for whatever it is. She's reaching for a star. So why is it not time to go? Remember when I said yes and no? I was like, are these it? And then so we had the yin in reverse. So if we had gotten the yin in the upright, it would have been that energy. So that's that's the yes and no. Like, yes, these are the right cards, but no, this is not the action to do. Maybe. Let's, let's look a little bit more into it. So I'm picking up Yang energy. I wonder why that one didn't come out. I wonder if we'll get it like, hiya. Oh, that's not even the right deck. <laughs> um, we got cleanse. It's time to let go of things, which interesting enough, I'm being drawn to the next set of cards, the dream cards. And we got dandelion. And every time I want to help my liver, or <laughs> which the liver is all about toxins and cleansing it out, we detox so many ways in different ways, but I always am drawn to dandelion root. Tastes just like coffee. Doesn't give you the anxiety of coffee, but 
helps you sleep. That's what I do. When I really want to have a good night's sleep, I drink it before bed. And that kind of helps the liver because I want to say between three and five is the hour of the liver. Could be the lungs. It's like lungs and liver at that time, which are like major detoxing organs in the Chinese medicine body clock. I've been following that for way before I even found the school and met all these smart people. And I do find that it really just helps benefit your body to, to work in a cycle, to know when is the best time for yin and yang. Anyways, so time to cleanse. We've got dandelion with vitality, empowerment, and perseverance. And interesting enough with that, Selenite. I find everything interesting. This one's interesting. This one's interesting. This one. It's all interesting for those who have the eyes to see it. But when I think of Selenite, Selenite does take, like, it's such a cleansing crystal. It could cleanse the other crystals that absorb everything. But I love holding it to my heart. Or, or aura field, whatever you need. Doesn't need clearing. It clears you. So we've got Yang going for it. This one says for Selenite, spiritual activation and stimulation. Something is being stirred up. We do have the astral realm in reverse, which you go to at nighttime during dream time. And the last one we have is mugwort, rites of passage. So this one said spiritual activation, it's a rite of passage. Um, this one wants to empower you. It wasn't quite go time, it said, because it's just a little bit of balancing energies and letting go. So I'm guessing if I were to say first thing that pops to my mind is letting go of old beliefs of how you need to be so perfect and poised and on this pedestal. Perfectionism. We gotta let that go. You are who you are and we love you when you're messy when you're chaotic, when you're fun, when you're happy, when you're sad, all of it. We love all of you. So I really want to get into this astral. Oh, it's astral travel, not astral realm. Couldn't read it in upside down. So vital force, information, dream time, soul travel. I'm getting wicked goosebumps. Um, let that settle or come in more. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm seeing is right here, they have the third eye. There's a star right on the third eye. And then from there, it brought me to this card where she's reaching for that star. This was in reverse. Now I'm hearing the song, I just close my eyes. There is a need to pay attention to what you're taking into the body. I'm seeing that with the dandelion and all those things. Honestly, I don't know what mugwort does. It sounds like Harry Potter to me, <laughs> but I'm sure it does something wonderful. Let's look it up. But I'm seeing it's really important now to eat what you feel called to eat. Like I said, I never like um, red meat my whole life. It just hasn't been my thing. And, and my body asked for it. And my friend's like, that's because it helps like start. It has something to do with blood and circulation and yang energy or something like that. I don't know. They're really smart. And so, yeah, maybe you could go talk to someone and who has the training or knowledge to help direct you if you don't have the knowledge. But what I'm getting is it's really time to be clean, to chop wood. It's like preparing. I'm seeing the action time and just to let go of old beliefs, old something, um, old patterns, things that kept you um, disconnected from your source. When I say disconnected, I'm seeing once your body starts feeling better, it's a little bit more light. That's when um, the spirit, like you're going to be connect. There is an activation going on here. And so that's going to take so much of your energy. So if your energy is being scattered everywhere else, um, it's 
it's almost like a spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakenings, ah, I'm getting chills again, um, aren't like this, <sighs> I'm hearing the word simple, but, um, you know, you just wake in one day and you're just enlightened and stuff. It's like, no, it's a chaotic mess. And that's why they said we love all sides of you. We want you to really just look at the things and, and not judge it, not not put something on a pedestal that this is the way I need to behave when something is coming up. Because eventually, um, it is going to focus on the mind. There's a clearing of the mind. Um, and then there will be travel. But I do see meditation being very important. So journeying and these meditations are going to bring insights and answers and things like that. So this mug where it says, write a passage. Um, we are a soul having a human experience. We are not this, this body, even though we wake up and sometimes forget our real selves. So let's just read. Because I don't know. And if you don't know, maybe just look into it. This card has come to you because you or someone you know is crossing a threshold with a prominent episode in your life is coming to a close. You need to acknowledge your accomplishments. It's time to recognize this milestone, celebrate it with a rite of passage, or perhaps you need to acknowledge a transition or lead a ritual for someone else to mark a major turning point in life. Mugwort is an aromatic herb that once thought to bestow magical protection. Huh, Harry Potter? Um, is calling you to perform a personal vision quest. It's all aligning. Which can mean connecting to your dreams or waking visions. There are images and messages you need to receive through the quest. It says, stimulate your creative brain, recharge your life force energy. Your home or aura needs a detox from negative energies. You know what I'm going to get, what I'm getting from that? Pretty much everything in this card, I was like, I don't know mugwort at all. I've never, I never worked with it or taken it or I don't know crap about crap about this. But deep down, I did know because intuitively you are connected to these things and you have to trust your path or your journey. Because now I'm being brought back to the Dreamweaver song and it's like, um, hop aboard the Dreamweaver train. Like you're being brought to exactly where you need to be. And, you know, usually when it comes to diet and things like that, um, everyone will say red meat's bad, um, right? Only eat fish or chicken or only vegetarian. You know what your body needs. I will say be mindful of the energy that you take in. So an animal in the way that it was killed. Um, if it was inhumane, right, its last energy will be um, fear. So that fear will be in the meat, right? It, fear goes throughout your whole body. If you, when you're in fear, how much does it like riddle your whole body? It will affect your mental, like, your physical, everything. So just being mindful of that. And other than that, I say, you know what you need and you do you. Because I do see this active, it's time to actively clear and help out our things. Have you been having really crazy dreams? Maybe. Let me pull some more. No, they're not letting me. I always like pulling cards. Okay, I'm gonna drink water then. I need to do something. That's what I feel. I feel like I need to do something. It's just been like sitting and all that for so long. So that's what I'm seeing. <clears throat> I'm seeing like going out and working or out or something, right? Helping to release that stuck energy in you, right? You could sweat it. Your skin is a huge organ that detoxes as well. Your breath, your lungs helps detox, your liver. Um, those tend to be your, your large intestine, bowels releasing things. Um, those are, your body naturally knows how to detox. It's just saying, you be mindful now of what you're taking in. Your body already knows how to do the rest. And by that, by you empowering yourself, it, the aura is gonna change. The aura is going to, I'm hearing become magnetic. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I felt two magnets be put on my back and like lifted up. It was almost like, ooh. <laughs> okay. So when I was little, um, I had this uncle who was my favorite because 
he never had kids so he had that like playful energy anyways he was always like messing and joking and poking around and he wasn't so serious and so when he we'd be like playing and he would just like hang me on the door and I'd be like let me down when I was so little <laughs> Anyways, he would do all these things and just mess with me. But for some reason, that's what I felt like the magnet was like pulling me up. And that's what they're saying again. We don't want you to be so poised and perfect. And I'm seeing someone see whatever age you're, you are. And being like, at this age, I should have this, this and this, like a checklist. And it's like, you're not, you're not a, you're not a list. You're, you're a soul, you're a spirit having a human experience and everybody is here for a different lesson a different reason so you can't compare yourself to the next person and I've learned that every time I looked at someone and I kind of put them on pedestals holy moly did they fall far from those I don't put anyone on a pedestal I put everyone as equal um I've always admired, you can, I've learned to admire their qualities because you have that within you or that's something that you're working towards. But, um, yeah, anyways, we'll let that one go. Time to go. Let that one go. But what I'm, what I'm noticing is here she is on the column. We'll call it a column. It's not a pedestal. She's reaching for that star. And that's almost what the magnet did. Once your aura starts to get magnetized, it's almost like, and then it's going to like lift her to the star. And so now with that, once you kind of clear out all that gunk, right? You support your liver. Everything's going good. You're into this rite of passage. Um, now we're into this astro travel. When I was little, I think the whole reason why I like know why my beliefs are so strong and why so many people can't talk me out of what I do and things like that, because I had all these experiences when I was little where I would leave my body and I would go around and and I remember one time getting the goosebumps again. I I was hanging up at this cabinet with Archangel Michael and my human body came walking around the corner and I looked up at myself and and myself was looking down at myself and i just smiled and i was like oh hey and then i just kept on walking and did my thing and i guess now as i'm saying that i'm like well who's running that vehicle right if i'm here and so they're saying <laughs> that that's um a little bit of astral travel but that's also a rite of passage um and spiritual activation within asking these questions um, is where um, the answers will come for you. Because another weird thing is I used to go to my front steps growing up and, and I would stand on my front steps and watch the sunset over the mountains. But my front steps faced east. So I would like go out of my body up over the house and then I would watch the sunset. So for me, my whole life, I remember these moments so clear. And, and that's why it, um, I'm kind of an airy person. I am. I feel like I'm talking about myself a lot, but I think by sharing experiences that other people, when you have, you, people have experienced similar things that are, they've just been like, oh, it was just imagination. It was just this or something. But especially when you were a child, you had tons of magical moments. Um, all stages of your life, they're saying. But, um, yeah, and that's why, I don't know, myself remembers these moments and I remember being with Archangel Michael and, um, I've taken so much to get grounded because any, any sign of something I didn't want to deal with, I was just like, <laughs> so I had to learn to be really like in my body because when you're not in your body, mm, that's what it's saying is it's almost like an open vessel or vehicle. The body was being protected at that moment um, because there's still part in there. It's just the consciousness like around with your guides. Your guides are always around you. But for those who are so mindless, who want to escape their body and they don't want to be in the mind in those things, other things can attach and stuff. So that's what it's just saying, um, right? You could be very mindless eating 
I was a very mindless eater. I could eat and eat. And because I wasn't really here, um, yeah, could have a negative effect. Next thing you know, you become present. You're like, damn, I ate too much. And I love food. And then the sad thing about that is you love food so much, but you didn't taste it. You didn't enjoy it because you weren't present. And so I'm seeing that being trapped in the thoughts. And then I'm seeing another one like actually out and about. Hmm. Do you want to talk on any of these cards? We didn't really go into the chop wood or the yin. Yeah, we did. We talked about the yin, but there's always more. Hmm. They're saying that it's been so much in the yin energy, which is more of the softer, the relaxing, um, picturing just like spa day, right? Kind of that energy, nurturing that, not so much movement. And so now it's saying it's time to not go. So there is a need to not just go balls through all that way, because that will also be unbalanced. We want to do both of them. Yeah, like if you go out there and you chop wood, your muscles are going to be sore. They want you to do both. You don't want to just um, hurt yourself by being over ambitious because there is a lot of these ones, right? There's all this clearing and that movement, right? You going out, buying the groceries, feeding yourself, that's that's movement, right? We're gonna we're gonna move. Um but to also have the mindfulness with it. I got a little bit more to learn about this because I remember having two consciousness looking at myself. And I was like I was like five when this happened. But all these ones, is like there's this rite or passage. Your body's upgrading and your vital force. So something to do with your vital force and information. Let me just, let me, there's something I'm not getting. And that's because I want to look in this deck, the Hermetic Tarot. Damn, it's cold. I should always have a blanket or a sweater here. Okay, so just let me, let me. When you meditate, when you go on a journey, because it said in the Mugwort one that you're going to go on a spiritual journey, um, it may not look like I'm doing much, but energetically, I'm doing a lot. And that is kind of the balance of being calm and centered and to actively journey. There's these places that you can go that your soul resonates with to help activate your soul or understand things about your soul. Um, I'm here, but I'm also not here right now. And let me just, <laughs> it's very fun in that one. I just all of a sudden was like, wee, and like, <laughs> um, and then they brought me to the soul. So here I am a body plus the soul who's traveling. And then they brought me to the awareness of the soul that is holding space for all this. You are very multifaceted. And there's this, um, I'm seeing like a crystal prism. Um, it's almost like a fun house of mirrors or something. But when the light shines it perfectly, you see the path through the labyrinth and it all makes sense. Whew. Damn. Okay, so what do we got? Um, we had two of pentacles in reverse, and it says Lord of Love in reverse. And then we had the King of Pentacles, the Prince of the Chariot of Earth. And so I like these cards because there's so much symbolism in it. So let me tap into that. I hate just like whew, you sitting there and just watching me, but I feel like that's necessary in this one. They keep bringing me to a party scene. They keep talking about the cup and filling up your cup. So again, alcohol, alcohol is an escapism. Um, they actually called it a pimp cup, 
but um you know going out and sleeping with everyone else that that will clog up your aura and your body and it could be an std right that but you're also taking people's energy in and and that's something you will need to detox drinking going out and being frivolous with your energy will deplete you they're showing me a party the disco ball now the party itself is fine because they're saying back to this one not to judge not to be um this perfectionism you are supposed to go out and you are supposed to have fun but you need to fill up your cup first before you even think about filling up another person's cup um the energy right now is going to be like a bull a bull in a china shop and so that's um they said like the yin energy was, uh, and they're bringing it to spiritual awakening. Like I said, sometimes spiritual awakenings aren't, um, it's, it's intense. It really is because you get so stuck in thinking that you are this 3D thing. And then when your reality is kind of bended a bit or you're like, I wish I knew that, like you get mad at yourself or things like that. Um, I would have acted the way that I did. And it's, I guess, forgiveness. They're saying a lot of forgiveness is supposed to come through. But um, another thing is, is when you have this energy, I, um, once you start doing a little bit of this energy clearing, things like that, your energy is going to be more potent. And so I'm seeing this energy that you have um, being like the bull. So it might be intense in your body and that's very uncomfortable. So there's a need for you to ground yourself and and um again i'm seeing food and things like that just really needing to detox and not you know going out and eating like just fast food all the time right get your get your vegetables get your life force um right plants grow and they're alive and then once you pick them they're they're disconnected from the source they still hold vitamins and nutrition but it's the life force and so you know if you the quicker you from garden would be ideal um same with animals as we spoke earlier there's something to do with that there's something to do with the people that you hang out with and there's kind of a need to get into this routine of um preparing the body so that it can receive this energy because this energy is going to be intense. It's like a bull, they keep saying. There's gonna be movement. Um, and the things that used to make you, what I'm seeing is maybe this already happened. And you know, things that used to make you happy, um, like the disco party they're showing, um, no longer had that sparkly, shiny effect. So then you went into this yin energy, wherever that card is, and, and settled and rested and rejuvenated but now right we're, we don't want you to stay stuck and like hermit mode pretty much now now there's this activation could be kundalini activation things like that i don't really know much about kundalini i say i don't know stuff but i say stuff then i look it up and it was what i said and i think that's what the main message for you as well trust your process and don't judge yourself for the path that you took. I'm getting goosebumps again. Um, the fool. I keep hearing someone be like, oh, I'm such a fool. I wish I knew better. You are a fool. But the fool is that lighthearted, fun person who goes on an adventure. And you probably went and you learned all these lessons and you got hurt. And so you learned to reel it in and then you healed. And now you're going to go off on another adventure. Are you still a fool this time? Yeah, you are, because this new adventure you haven't done. But now, being a fool, you're also a healer. And when I get with this um, activations, and most of it, astro travel, spiritual activation, empowerment, vitality, rites of passage, a lot of this is going to be physical but I think it's also going to be a mental thing. And so that's why it's so important for you to just do a little bit of this empowering of your body, of the, the past things, 
because if you're stuck in those toxic cycles i think once this energy happens because for some usually you know you, you let go of those things and then you 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 raise up um for some i'm feeling like it's going to happen anyways this activation and if you have all those gunky things it could really mess with the mind there could be a real war um because you're a spiritual being and you'll just have more doubt you won't you won't trust the process as much and so when you don't trust you start to give um you question everyone outside of yourself to have the answer for you but you have the answer within you because as this poised person there was those magnets and it's reaching her up what's it reaching her to that star which is here again there's that star in the third eye this one i'm getting is in that situation i said there's me there's the traveler one and then there's that over overlook higher self there's that higher self one and your higher self has um it's like now's the time we've been waiting for this moment um you're prepared for it so i'm now hearing someone be like i'm not ready i'm not ready i need more um it's not time i need to rest and yes you need to continue that practice of health and healing that you've already been on at this moment it's just saying um there's a fieriness coming there's this bull energy are we still in aries season i don't know um whatever doesn't matter <clears throat> um it's time to chop wood and we didn't even look at this wood too much so there's a broom and beside the broom are buckets of water and fire and water don't really go together keep getting fiery energy but i'm seeing the house cleaning become more of like a ritual because one of these said ritual i think which one was it oh it was the mugwort in the book but um that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like the broom. They always say like negativity comes onto your floors. It's important for you to sweep. Um, it just kind of like it's a it's using your imagination as a power. Like you 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 imagine all the bad vibes going out the door, and it's clean and those things. And so it's like those little things that you do every day kind of put out those fires from burning the whole place down. But there is a need of fire and there is a need for water. The yin, the yang, those kind of things. Um, and once those kind of mix well, that's when I see something like really empowering coming and it's going to be on such a soul level that I can't even explain more to you, but like dreams are going to be crazy or you're going to have out of body experience or you might just know things and become more psychic intuitive, which is the whole purpose of this channel for you to learn how to activate all your clairs, right? There's five clairs. You have five senses in your physical, sight, hearing, taste, smell, touch, but you have five psychic senses. And these five psychic senses are clairvoyance, clear seeing, uh, clear audience, clear hearing, clear cognizance, which I think is the hardest because you just know things, you get downloads. And that's what I think is coming through. That's what's mostly coming through. And those ones will mess with your mind. How do I know what I know? I don't know what I know, but I know it. And you do, because your soul, your higher self is guiding you. Bring in your guides for protection all the time. If you find you've been out of body traveling and things like that. And, and eat clean, eat good. And I wanna say, keep grounded. Because when I think of the bull, bulls are very earth energy, right? Taurus. Aries, no, that's a ram. The bull is Taurus, which is earth. I'm picking up earth energy, but I'm getting a lot of fire. I'm getting everything, right? All the elements, everything. Trust your process and your journey because spirit never let you go into an avenue that you weren't meant to learn from. If you really weren't meant to be there, it would have taken that option away from you. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing Claire Cognizance being the main one. And that one is just weird. 
I just know something's going to happen. I just know things. Um, I don't know why I looked at this one, but I still want to finish. Clairgustescence um, is like smell and taste. You can smell up someone's perfume who's not there. Um, like pass over loved one or something like that. And then clairsentience. You just feel. You feel. You're a massive feeler. Empath. <sighs> and I read an article. No, not part of this reading. I did pull this one though. And it was Five of Swords. Why the Swords? Because it says Lord of Defeat. Hmm. It's a spiritual rebirth. And so I kept seeing all the swords and it being the end defeated. And so that that kind of that kind of is what has to happen. It's like a spiritual death. And that's that spiritual awakening. A part of you has to kind of metaphorically metaphorically die. It's a it's a crazy process, right? You have to let go of these beliefs of the past. But new ones come in and these new ones um I like Harry Potter magic in that mugwort. I want to read that book again. And then we'll wrap it up. Because, yeah. Um, a prominent episode in your life is coming to a close. You need to acknowledge your accomplishments. It's time to recognize this milestone. Celebrate it with the rite of passage. Or perhaps you need to acknowledge a transition. Or lead a ritual for someone else to mark a major turning point in life. Mugwort, an aromatic herb, once thought to bestow magical protection. Bring in your guides. Is calling you to perform a personal vision quest, which can mean connecting to your dreams or waking visions. There are images and messages you need to receive through this quest. To stimulate your creative brain, recharge your life force energy, and your home. Oh, there's that cleaning and chopping wood. Your home or aura needs a detox from negative energies. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot there still to unpack. I feel like I could talk about this for a really long time, but I think it's just um, surface level stuff. And now it's for you to journey on your own and find your cool adventure of awakening. And... You're, you're magical. You're magical and you're badass. You're a human, you're a soul, you're a spirit, you're everything. So let's leave it there. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.